welcome back to my channel and my first video since the end of vlogmas cannot believe that we made it all 25 days of vlogmas i'm both sad and relieved that it's over if that makes sense but it is over we did it yay two years in a row i'm pretty stoked about it actually already thinking of vlogmas videos for next december 2022 but i wanted to do a little what i got for christmas 2021 video now that vlogmas and christmas are over so let's jump right into it we celebrated christmas with ian's family my mom's family and my dad's family so we gave a lot of gifts we received a lot of gifts had a great time with everybody really feeling lucky for being able to see everyone in our family this holiday season in no particular order i'm just going to kind of jump in with some of the goodies i have here i was really stoked to receive quite a few candles this year so we have our classic yankee candle the nice big one which i love these burn forever and this is the sparkling cinnamon scent which is going to be so good for the rest of winter and january and february it's just yes it's got that very pungent cinnamon smell which i love that's one of my favorite scents and then i also got these candles called badass candles for the badass in you love that and um this one's kind of a whole production as you can see the candles themselves are really cute we have hold on let me get them out of here this one here is called let's get cozy it's a premium soy wax candle and my favorite part is it's got little rose petals at the top that's so aesthetic so cute I'll probably burn this one in the bedroom. Let's get cozy, rose petals. And then there was a second one as well. This one was called Calm Within the Chaos. Sounds like my life. And this one has little flower petals on top as well, which I just think that's so cute when there's flower petals in the candles. So we, ooh, super excited to burn all of these candles this year. Oh my God, they just smell so good. I like the smell of soy wax candles i think they smell different i don't know if i can exactly explain how or why but they do i like it and i kind of want to do something with this big box afterwards like that's just so fun but i don't know what so if you have any ideas for what i can use this for uh drop them in the comments because it's just really cool so cool so yes we got some candles which we love oh it matches my shirt that's really cute i also got this is when you know you're becoming an adult like i am so stoked about my candle gifts and my sock gifts i i love socks and candles now call me a homebody i don't know but in terms of socks i got a pair of rbg socks super cute on the bottom of the foot, it says, there will be enough women on the Supreme Court when there are nine. We love that. We love an idol. So some RBG socks, super cute, as well as these two festive fuzzy pairs. And they're super funny. This one says, Jingle Juice. And this one says, Ba Rumba. <laughs> I think they're funny. Super cute. I also did get a couple pieces of clothing this year. Um, I'm a sucker for fashion, so it's always a safe choice. This isn't the only piece of clothing I got, but this is the one I just want to show, which is just this super adorable sweater. Like, look at this color. This is going to be so cute in the office. I'm actually going to be warm for once because I am always, I always feel like, I feel like I'm always freezing at my desk. And this just looks so cozy while still being professional. Versatility. We love that. So that's super cute. It's from Talbots and I'm super excited to wear that. Let's see, I guess keeping with some of these cozy vibes, um, I did get a new wine glass and, okay, so super funny. I was actually out shopping with my mom for other people for Christmas and I saw this wine glass and I was like, that's hysterical. That's so me. So she bought it and I like, so I watched her buy it and she was like, you don't get it till Christmas. And of course me being who I am, I completely forgot about it until I unwrapped it. But this is my <laughs> fancy as fuck wine glass. I think it's hysterical, but it's so pretty with all the flowers all around it. 
so cute. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have a juvenile sense of humor, but I think that's hysterical. I'm gonna wear my little, my little jungle juice socks, be fancy as fuck with my wine glass and just gonna have a time, we'll have a night. So, super love that. I actually got a couple other um, kitchen related items as well. A little heavy, but it's this beautiful charcuterie board. Super excited, I don't wanna tip it too far because these little dishes do come out perfect for like peanuts or dipping mustards or something. And then you can put the crackers all around the edges here. You get a spot for your cheeses. And then the best part, would be on this side, a little drawer, a little hidden drawer with all your cheese knives, as well as a little labeling um, chalkboard so you can label what kind of cheese you're presenting, little chalk pencils, honestly, everything you could possibly need for a beautiful little party centerpiece. We already had the chance to use this at Ian's parents' house on Christmas Eve. It was an early Christmas present. And uh, his brother works on a farm, so he brought this really fresh, really delicious cheese, and we set up a little cheese board together. So this one has already been in use. That's when you know it's a good gift, already using it. We also got these bowls from a company called Tassin, and these bowls are so, they're so funny, but they're so adorable. We got um, three. There's two bowls in here and then another one. And here, let me just show you. <laughs> How cute are those? So I think they're super funny. And this size is perfect for like ranch or dipping things or just like a little snack. So I think these are gonna be great because we don't have bowls this size really um, that we can use for those kinds of things. We also got a more cereal bowl sized one, uh, which is actually in my kitchen. And that one is so cute too. It has a little face with a mask on. So that's gonna be a hit, I think, when we have people over next. So yes, a couple of kitchen pieces, which is fantastic. I also got a pack of washable makeup remover wipes. And I've actually had my eye on these. Oops, there were cards in there. Oh well, I've had my eye on a set of these for a while now, just cause we love being environmentally friendly. We love doing things that are good for the earth and these are just that. So this with honestly just soap and water or if you have a makeup remover, serum, wet the pads, take off all your makeup, drop them in the laundry, and you can use the same ones over and over again. So I am super excited to finally be able to try these out. I've been, I've been wanting them for a while. So like super stoked to finally be able to give those a use. I also got a set of one pound ankle weights that I've also had my eye on. Um, I've seen other people rave about the this specific brand, Bala. So these are one pound ankle weights. They're super cute and pink. I love that. So I'm definitely gonna be using these in my fitness New Year's resolutions. Cause you know, we have some of those. Get into better shape always, every day. And these are gonna be a huge help with that. So I'm super excited to put these to use. And then what else did I get? Obviously every year I always get quite a few Barnes and Noble uh, gift cards. I am <laughs> just a sucker for some new books. So along with some of those gift cards this year, I also got two new books that I'm really excited to read. Let me know if any of you have ever read either of these. I have not, so I'm super excited to be able to dive into these this year. Um, we have The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson, as well as The Sentence by Louise Erd Erdrich, Erdrich. So those will be good reads. If you're interested in a book review, let me know. Maybe I'll upload that later this year or in a month, whenever I finish them. I also got, this one's gonna be really fun. Actually, I'm super excited to dive into this. It's a set of palm reading cards. So you know I'm gonna be reading everybody's palm at every party I host now because why wouldn't you? So I'm super excited. I think it tells you everything about all the different lines, the different, I don't know, astral sections of your hand. You can see the different uh, planet signs that are labeled all throughout the hand. And there are just different cards that really dives into what each section means, what each line means. 
everything you need to know. So I'm gonna have to read up on that and see if I can figure it out a little bit, but I'm super excited. That's gonna be really fun. Um, like I like I said, we did also get some gift cards, which I'm not really gonna show because they're all in my wallet. <laughs> um, but obviously super excited to put some of those to use. Starbucks, Target, um, ice skating. That's gonna be so super fun. Uh, I did also already show off this little necklace that Ian got me from Tiffany's, which I'm super excited about. Like, I love it. And last but not least, a gift that's also from Ian that I'm so super excited about, and I hope you guys will be too. That is a new vlogging camera. I am so excited. I did send him a specific link. I was like, eh you want to <laughs> this is a camera I've had my eye on for literally months I'm I'm not even kidding it is the Canon EOS M50 it comes with a lens the body this camera is actually white I know it shows uh, a picture of the black camera but it is in white I'm so excited I think I'm gonna do like an unboxing either on here or on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go do that because I might just upload it as a reel. Um, since, you know, it's not that big of a box and I know it's in here, but I'm just, I'm so excited. And who doesn't love an unboxing? We love new products, we love hauls. So yeah, definitely go subscribe to my Instagram if you wanna see a little new vlogging camera unboxing, I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully this will be the last video I film on my phone. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be so exciting. So yeah, that is what I got for Christmas 2021. Like I said, I am super thankful for all my family and friends that got me something that I was able to shop for. Honestly, just spending time with everybody, being able to see everybody and give hugs. It was a really good holiday and I hope you guys had such a good holiday too. I hope you were able to see your loved ones and spend some time with them and eat good food and have a good time and laugh. And I hope you're able to go into 2022 positively. That's what I'm trying to do. We have, we have one more week. Ah, it is, it's coming up fast. It was a crazy year, but you just gotta try and try and finish on a strong note. You know, every day is a day to improve. So don't feel like it all has to happen at once, but I feel pretty lucky. So thank you so much for going through my what I got for Christmas 2021. And uh, I am gonna be uploading a New Year's resolution vlog very soon. That's gonna be coming up probably at the end of this week, hopefully knock on wood. So if you don't wanna miss that, which you don't, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you get alerted when I upload it. You don't even have to pay attention. It'll just be like, ping, Nicole's uploaded a new video and you'll go, oh my God, I should go watch it. And then you will, it'll be great, it'll be awesome. If you enjoyed this video, this little recap of what I got for Christmas, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know what you're planning for New Year's Eve. I would love to hear it. Are you gonna do anything fun? Hopefully you're staying safe wherever you are, but I hope you have a good time. I hope you have some fun plans or maybe some fun people to spend it with. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my New Year's resolution video. Bye.